Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another short online tutorial. My name is Jack. I'm one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics, and we are based in Elemental and Illustrator today. And obviously, welcome to our tutorial. The reason why we are here today, guys, is you may have heard me. I said we are based in two softwares today, Illustrator and Elemental. And what I would like to do is show you how to Im implement the both of them, combine the both of them. So, for instance, you were to build an illustration with an Illustrator, you would then like to implement that within a page or a structure you are using in Elementor. So as you can see in front of you here, what I've got is a very, very basic uh, background illustration. OK, I've used gradient shapes, a bit of pen tool and shape builder to get this um, illustration together. And what I would need to do is I would need to export this. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set everything like so. Make sure it's all grouped by pressing Command G on the Mac or Control G on Windows. And now that's all nicely grouped for me. So if I now go to window, what I need to be using is my asset export window. This is where we come to do to export it. So when it's selected, I'm going to come to this little plus sign here and add it to a little library. OK, I want to export it as a PNG. And we come to the bottom here and we must go export. What we're going to do now, we'll put it into our creative cloud uh, four times uh, folder here, let's say choose okay so if we now go to elemental here now i'd like to implement that as a uh, background to one of my structures so obviously what we need to do now is implement a new structure and i'm going to just implement a solid one like so okay now with this structure selected what i'm now going to do is come to style okay you've got different options here at the top but when it comes to style and as you can see you've got background as a uh, folder to open and what we need to do is make sure we're on classic as the background type we obviously have gradient video and slideshow but what we need to be using is classic and then we have the image section here so what we're going to do is now go choose image let's go upload files and we had it in our creative cloud let's have a look here got a couple pre-saved ones which put on the bottom there open let that open now and insert the media down the bottom. OK, now what you need to do is make sure the positioning of this is correct. So with that selected, what you would need to do is make sure the position here is center center. And you need to make sure the size here is at cover. And obviously what we need to do now is see the structure and we want to see the background. So what we need to do is implement some padding. So if I now go to advanced, I want to unlock the padding here. I just want to affect the top and bottom. So I'm probably going to put, let's say, 200 there on the top. And let's say we put about 200 on the bottom there. OK. And as you can see now, we have implemented the illustration into Elementor. OK. Now what you can do is you can implement a nice sort of title on the top here if you want to. And a heading like so. You may want to align this better um let's say we want to say welcome to our company for instance you got the star here let's say we change the star color to white okay let's say the typography here let's have a look different types of format the size of it you can increase Okay, all manipulatable for you and all changeable for you, depending on what kind of style you're looking for. So, guys, thank you very much for taking the time today. If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics, do not hesitate in visiting our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, what you can do is visit our Instagram page and check out some of our amazing work by our students at Blue Sky Graphics UK. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time.